This is question number 8 from Pearson and Excel A level exam. Uh, this exam is for pure math 2. Exam was taken in October 2023. In a large theater, there are n rows of seats where n is a constant. The number of seats in the first row is a, where a is a constant. In each subsequent row, there are four more seats than in previous row. For example, if in the first row there are 10 seats, then in the next row it will be 14, then 18. It is example only. Okay. So in the second row there are a plus 4, in the third row a plus 8. So it is arithmetic sequence. Okay. Uh, so this will be common difference of two numbers. Okay. D. Given that the total number of seats uh, in the first 10 rows is 360. So this will be S10, total number of seats. Find the value of A. So from this information, we could find the answer uh, by using the sum formula, okay? Uh, sum of the series formula in arithmetic, okay? Uh, if you remember, uh, we know the formula Sn that is equals to n by 2 sum of the series, okay? 2a plus n minus 1 into d. This is the formula for sum of series in arithmetic. If you want to find the sum of the series, sum of 10 rows, like if it is 10, so it will be 10 by 2, and you can substitute the value for a. Uh, we know that that is a only plus n minus 1, 10 minus 1, it will be 9, and d will be 4. In this question, d is 4. Okay. Now we can solve it, and we know that S10 is uh, 360. Replace it with 360. Divide by 5. Why I'm dividing it 5? Because we get 5 from here. 5 is multiplying here. If you bring it to the left side, it will divide the other side. Okay. Then you get here 2a plus 36. Then uh, 7, 72 minus 36 is equals to 2a. And 2a will be equals to 36. And a will be equals to 18. So we got A. Okay. Now you need to uh, here find the value of A. First part is done. Then for second part, given also that the total number of seats in N rows. So these are for N rows, SN. So SN equals 2146. Show that N squared plus 8 and minus. 1073 equals to 0. Now we have this information uh, for second part. Still we will use the same formula uh, for sum that is n by 2 uh, here 2a plus n minus 1 into d and this time we have the formula for sn uh, value for sn that is 2146 okay 200 146 and in the next step you can multiply 2 to get rid of that 2 or you can skip this step for the next so we can write as n over 2 and then substitute the values it will be 18 plus n minus 1 and d we already know that is 4 and now in the next step you can multiply 2 uh, here 2146 multiply 2 and you can multiply n inside the bracket. So it will be 36, 36 n. And this 4 n, you know, 2 multiplied here and just n will multiply inside with both of the numbers. So it will be 36 n and 4 n multiply n will be 4 n square and this 4 n multiplied by negative 1 will be negative 4 n. So simplifying, we can write as 4 n square uh, 36 minus 4n will be 32n and then you bring this to the towards the right it will be 2146 multiplied 2 we get the answer uh, this is n plus 32n 36n minus 4n is 32n and minus this will be minus if you take it to the other side 4292 equals to 0 simple is that you can divide by 4 everything so you will get the answer here it will be divide by 4 it therefore it will be n square plus 8n and minus 1073 equals to 0 it is as 
required in the question. So hence proved, it is like that, okay, we need to prove this thing. We have proved it, okay. Now for part C, let us read the question. Hence state the number of rows uh, of seats in theatre, number of rows in seats, n is the number of rows, okay. Uh, if you remember, where n is a constant and there are n rows. If we uh, find the value of n, it means we are finding the number of rows, okay. First part, you need to find the number of rows. Uh, number of rows. So, by using this equation, n square plus 8n minus 1073 equals to 0. We could use here quadratic formula. Quadratic formula is much easier to apply. Uh, sometimes factorization is easier, but here it is okay for you. You can find by using quadratic formula. Here I am writing for you quadratic formula quickly. You can apply it. It will be b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So minus b, it is minus 8 plus minus b square, it will be 64 minus 4a is 1, c is minus 1073 divided by 2a, 2 into 1. Uh, you can solve the values under the square root. Uh, we get the answer here, minus 8 plus minus, uh, if you solve this one, we get the answer 66 divided by 2. And here we will get two answers, plus 66 divided by 2, and other answer will be n equals to minus 8 minus 66 divided by 2. We will reject it because number of rows cannot be negative. Okay. Uh, therefore, from here you can get the one answer for n. So it will be 58, 58 divided by 2 is 29. So there will be 29 rows, okay, in that theta. For C, first part is done for C. Now for second part, what is the second part? What to find? What we need to find? We need to find the maximum number of seats in any one row in any one row okay let's say uh, in the nth row the last row will be the maximum number of seats maximum number of seats will be in the last row okay why in the last row because uh, uh, every time uh, number of seats are increasing by four so last row will be the maximum number of seats. There are 29 rows, so we can find the value uh, for 29th row, okay? So we can use the formula A plus 28B. From where I got it, if you remember, let me write it for you. For the last term, there is a formula A n equals to A plus n minus 1 into D, okay? This is the formula for last row, last term, okay? If there are 29 rows, 29th is the last term, so it will be A29 and here it is n minus 1 into d, so it will be 28d. Now substitute the values. We have a that is 18 and 28 multiply 4. Therefore, you solve it and we get the answer for 29th row. In 29th row, answer will be 130 seats. So there will be 130 seats in 29th row. Okay. That's it. And question number 8 is done.